forgive my brother's temper. It's said over time, wargs adopt the traits of their animal. And your news was... unexpected. You see, Gregor Forrester was our father. And we are his bastards. I doubt anyone knows. It was his dark secret. And he feared his family would find out. No one at Ironrath knows of this. Not that I've ever heard. I suspected as much. Josera would say he banished us to hide his shame. But I like to think it's because he knew what we were. That he was protecting us in his own way. We thought one day Gregor would come and see everything we've built. But instead it was you. You are the first to arrive. It must have been a difficult journey. Few try, and fewer still live to tell about it. It wasn't easy. I had to break my vows to the Night's Watch. We barely made it. Not many survive this far north of the Wall. But you're here. Our father entrusted us with protecting the North Grove. That has always been our purpose. But we've learned there's a power here, Garrett. A power we've only just begun to understand. Winter is coming, and we haven't much time. Gregor Ven Fionn and Bjorn Sager Ven. Svealod Mopre Befastan!
Did you know him? Maybe I'm wrong, but you keep looking at him. <sighs> he was my friend. His name was Finn. He was here because of me. I let him join when we left Castle Black. That was his choice. It's not your fault. Now his watch has ended. You fought well, for a crow. I saved your life. I wouldn't go that far. Although I admit, you can fight. Maybe they did teach you something at Castle Black. But then, my expectations were low. You fought well yourself. Or at least your bear did. <laughs> His name is Shadow. Killing them I don't mind. It's the burning that stays with you. You'll never forget that stench. Did you see what they just did? They don't care about their own. My sister has trained them well. Emotion is a weakness. According to her. I've never seen anyone fight like that before. They seem... fearless. That's what they've been trained for. Nothing else matters but that. There are more my sister's doing, not mine. The Whites grow bolder by the day. Ever since the Wildling tribes went south with Man's Raider, I need to go back. Here, let me help you. I'm fine. It's nothing. I should return to the village. Fulgor and Vaisenir. Did you not hear me? Fulgor and Suna! <laughs> what? Wait! Fulgor and Vaisenir. You're losing control. What was that? It's blood magic. The more she uses it, the weaker she becomes. And they can sense it. Elsa is a fool to keep taking these risks. One day, they'll kill us all if we're not careful. There must be something you can do to stop her. She is convinced her blood magic is the only way to protect the North Grove. That her warriors are the answer. But she can't control it. I worry about her. It's more dangerous than she knows. She was right about one thing, though. The Whites are growing bolder. And the worst is yet to come. Now that my father's dead, there's no reason to stay. That's why he sent you, isn't it? To bring us back to Ironrath. To crush our enemies south of the Wall. And avenge his death. You're right. House Forrester needs our help. We could return south. Think of what we could do. I'm sure we could convince Elsera to join us. I know what my father said. The North Grove can never be lost. But he wouldn't want us to die because of it. Where's Sylvie? Never trust a fucking wildling. Ugh, <laughs> 
disgusting. Oh, rats. They're everywhere in King's Landing. Oh, looks fresh. Looks like they didn't make it to the block. Oh God, those are human teeth. Jailer, please. Shut it. Please come here. Excuse me. What do you want? Can you get me out of here? Because if not, I don't want to know. Hey, no talking. Jailer, Jailer, come over here. Oh, don't you start again. Why don't you come here for a moment? We can have a little chat about it. God's woman, I said shut it. Or I will come in there and you won't like what happens. Well, what do you want then? Tell me, please. I'll do anything. Just tell me! Ugh, bastard! Before the day's over, they'll take us. Straight to the block. So don't give me that look. You can leave the judgement to the Father. Whatever gods you believe in. I'm sorry, I, I meant no offence. But we have to keep our heads held high. Even when everything else is taken from us. <laughs> I have a son. A little baby boy. I think of the smell of his skin. His tuft of brown hair. There is nothing I wouldn't do. Nothing. Just to hold him again. Dignity is worthless compared to that. What would you do in my place? I'll never see him again. Your family needs you. Nothing else matters. I do whatever it takes to survive. Whatever it takes. My lord, please, please take me out of here! Mira, making friends already, I see. Be quick. We'll be coming back for her next. For your trouble. Oh, no, no. Come on, you! No. Fucking mouth! They'll be here for you soon. You don't have much time. What are you doing here, Morgren? Come to rub your triumph in my face. Far from it, Lady Mira. I've come to make you an offer. I was thinking about what you said. Your relationship with Cersei is valuable. And if you also find your way back into Marjorie's graces, well, it would be a shame to waste such influence. And then I realized there's something far more valuable than your friends at court, Mira. Your name. I want you as my wife. Your wife? Do you do all your wooing in cells? I'm new to courting, but I imagine less violence and intimidation. 
Wars are won and lost in the marriage bed mirror. Kingdoms too. And I want my own kingdom. I'll start with an old and noble house, with a keep like Ironrath. It may not be the grandest castle in Westeros, but it's a start. Why would I do that? What's in it for me? You keep your head, of course, and I'll get you out of here. But if you don't value that, think of your bloodline, your precious Forrester legacy. This is your chance to make sure it carries on. What are you talking about? Two of your brothers are already dead. That idiot Lud will take care of the rest. <laughs> One way or another. And it won't take me long to get rid of the harebrained fool myself. I'm sorry, Mira. None of your family will survive. Ironrath will fall to you. And through marriage, it will become mine. A hold fast in the north can only help my ambitions. If all this happens, I want revenge against Lud. Promise me he dies. Let me be clear, Mera. You're in no position to make demands. It's fitting our betrothal begins in a cell. I'd say it's a perfect symbol for the rest of your life. You plan to keep me locked up? Well, perhaps not literally. If you play your part and produce my heirs. The murder of a Lannister guard can't go unpunished. But I can get you out of here, Mira. One word from me, that coal boy takes your place on the block. Tom! All you have to do is agree to marry me. You'll give up your power. You'll give up your ancestral home. But you'll be alive. So, Mira, what do you say? Good. She won't get far. Not out here. Please, let me go! Sylvie! When you're finished here, come see me. There's something I must show you. I don't trust these people, Garrett. Which is why I had to see Cotter. He's not well. And he, he won't live much longer. I thought he was getting help. Whatever they've done, it hasn't worked. There's nothing that will save him now. Which is why I needed to do something for me. I didn't want him to suffer anymore, Garrett. Just to ease his pain, but that's when they found me. The nightshade. I need you to be the one to end his suffering. What? It's our way, Garrod. You have to feed it to him. I'm trusting you to do this, Garrod. You're the only one who can. I will. You can trust me. I'll do the right thing. Thank you, Garrett. He's in so much pain.
I did everything within my power to help your friend. But I'm afraid it's too late. Nothing can save him now. Sylvie told me. Nightshade? What are you going to do with that? You realize it's deadly. And has no place in here. I promised Sylvie I'd give it to him. To end his suffering. I don't know what that wildling told you. But that will kill him and taint his blood. Me, Cotter. I'm here. Where's Sylvie? I want to see her. Where is she? Did something happen to her? Don't worry. She's right outside. She sent me to help you. I thought, I thought they took her away. Behind. Ah, to help Sylvie. Got her. Oh, I can't bear it anymore. Oh. He's been incredibly brave. A lesser man would have died days ago. But I suppose you already knew that about him. God is a fighter. Always has been. I can see that. But now you can use this death to give his life meaning. This was always intended for my father. It's a sacred symbol of the power of the North Grove. Forged from iron. The handle made with ironwood from this very tree. In my father's absence, you speak for House Forrester. It seems only right that you should have this now. You're here for a reason, Garrett. It's no accident they sent you. I promise. I'll make Lord Forrester proud. I know you'll do what's necessary. Your friend is dying. But his life is too valuable to waste. Give me his heart. His beating heart. And his death can have meaning. We can use it for a greater purpose, Garrett. An ancient ritual to help harness the power of the North Grove. But... We must do this, Garrett. I fear what might happen if we don't. His beating heart! This is madness! Not madness. Necessity. Madness would be letting the North Grove fall. You saw what happened after the fight. My warriors, they're pulling away. Please, I need you to do this. For me, for the North Grove. I'm ready. Gareth. I can't take it any longer. End his suffering. Use his life to make us strong, Gareth. Give him that poison, and his blood will be useless. Let us use his blood to give us strength. Out there, you saw what's possible. That was only the beginning. Perform the ritual, and we can prepare for the coming winter. I'm sorry. I can't do it. Cotter's my friend. I wouldn't be here if not for him. And I have to respect what Sylvie asked me to do. Then so be it.
Fulgor and Vice in air. We must burn the body. In the name of the king, I hereby sentence you to death. has been charged with murdering a loyal servant of the king. Who here bears witness to his crimes? My betrothed can speak to them. Is this true, my lady? My lady! Then in the name of the king, I sentence you to die. Lady Mira, please! Please! This isn't right! Help me! Come along, Mira. I have a busy day ahead. <laughs> <laughs> 